welcome to namaste little things i'm shiny today i'm going to talk about scam especially after corona lockdown there's lots of scam around fraudsters want to take money out of our bank account so here i'm going to give you some tips how can you identify the scam calls scam email let's go to the video number one spot the imposters the imposters who are in post posters they act like they are the government officials so you will my you might receive phone calls or e email saying they are government officials they will always send you letters so don't disclose any any your personal details over the phone so they are not the real persons they are they are the fraudsters point number 2 is do online search when you receive a phone call or emails or message go to google and search it is it really a reliable company is it a really genuine company you can trust them or you can believe them search it point number 3 is do not believe your caller id that's what's that mean because sometimes you receive calls from caller id sometimes you receive call from no caller id if you if you can see the caller id you know is your colleagues or your friends you can identify them is the name is already saved it so you can see it sometimes you can't identify the number so if you can identify the number just hang up i had my personal experience the last week i received a call from zimbabwe i never expecting a call from zimbabwe so i disconnected and as soon as i disconnected i blocked the number so second time they called me i disconnected and blocked it again and third time they called me again so i did again disconnected and blocked it because they realized i'm not going to answer this call so always check your caller id who is calling you if you are not trusting that no caller id is never answer is disconnect the fourth point is when you do online shopping try to pray from credit the credit card companies are significant fraud protection built so they will pay you back even though somebody scam happened the fifth point is talk to someone you trust before you do any transaction online any dealings with such company or awesome. organization you sp uh, speak to someone you trust the sixth point is hang up on robo calls what is robo calls sometimes when you you are busy around at home or you busy with your work and someone call you and as soon as you answer the phone there is an automated already recorded message coming about that to assessment so you need to hang up you don't answer that call sometimes even though you answer it you say yes so okay. they can hack your details so don't answer. seven point is if you're suspicious about some phone calls or email your account is hacked or scammed you need to inform a government organization called ftc the federal trade commission you can inform them they will deal with the scam eighth point is is my personal experience last week i received a message from three mobile saying i haven't paid my monthly payment so i i didn't trust that message i log into my three mobile account and i searched my my account is active so i made a phone call to them find out is anything wrong with my account they said no they received the payment and though, so i realized that's a scam message so if you receive something about your mobile account or any other account you directly log in and check or give them a call another experience from myself there was an email saying about my apple id is being locked because some security issue so i didn't click on the link what i did i straight away went to my apple id login when i looked there's no problem is active don't click any link anyone sent if if you feel that's the scam is my colleagues experience that you will receive a phone call in your landline or a mobile your computer is broken i can repair it but it's it's not a genuine call that's the scam fraudsters trying to hack your account they will pretend they are repairing the computer they take control of your computer but really they are hacking your computer and they will even they hack your account and uh, details and everything they can get loan from your bank account in your name so that don't involve with that kind of phone calls there is another experience somebody shared with me last week saying they received a message in the mobile from a colleague saying oh i'm accidentally i sent a pin number to you can you send it back to me actually is the colleague is not sending that message to you is a fraud fraud person sending you this message if you resend that number to the colleague then your phone is hacked and if you send it that to someone else and that person's phone is hacked so they're trying to scam you with, with, with your from your colleague's account 
so if you receive something like that don't reply to that message you ring them and ask them is it genuine or not there's another experience one of my friend told me she tried to do an online shopping and she buy some clothes online so when you look at the online 4k picture it's a good quality good looking so when you order the dress then when you receive the parcel you realize the quality is not good so you what you do you send it back so they will agree oh we will pay you back then they will pay you back but they will take all your details your account details then they will fraud you they will scam you and one person given the account number which don't have any money they so said i can't pay in this account give me another account so when they given the another account they had lots of money stolen from that account so be careful when you do online shopping if it's not reliable don't do such online shopping Hope this video is helpful for you if you if it's helpful please like share and comment thank you